Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, it's time to do a What's New with Transformers. Heck yeah. Love talking about new Transformers, so don't have them in hand. Just like to chit-chat. So sit back and relax, grab your favorite beverage, and uh, let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like DNA Designs has us a DK-37 upgrade kit for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. Looks like you get, um, so this kit was, I think, back in the day, Make Toys made something like this. So you get some nice uh, rocket launchers, you get some new guns, uh, you get a new set of hands. Uh, you also get some uh, gap fillers for the uh, back of the legs. And uh, yeah, so you can, you know, arm this, you know, fella up all the way up to the T's and I's and P's and Q's. <laughs> you just arm them up really, really well. So yeah, I got a bunch of rockets. Kind of looks funny. You know, you got the rocket sticking out of the uh, tanker mode. But eh, other than that, it's not, you know, that not that bad of a uh, upgrade kit. I like it. It looks pretty cool. So there you go. DNA Designs DK-37 upgrade kit for Legacy Optimus Prime. All right. Good stuff. And it looks like a uh, Studio Series A6 Dinobot Sludge is getting replacement feats. This is from uh, Tim underscore Hedda, H-E-A-D-A. -A. Uh, I've talked about this guy before. I just don't know where you can reach him at. Um, it might be, uh, you know, Twitter or something like that or Facebook. Uh, but looks like he 3D printed some uh, nice uh, new boots for uh, Sludge. They look pretty good. So there you go. New stuff for uh, Dinobot Sludge. New boots. And it looks like Fun B Studios is giving us a Wrecker Hammer. It looks pretty sweet. I like this. You can use it for, you know, whoever you want to. Ironhide, it looks like Springer. Uh, new product inbound. Next product offering is going to be Fun B Studios. And I said it's going to be for MP scale and Voyager scale. So that is freaking awesome. So yeah, Fun B Studios, uh, you got to be on their Patreon and you can download their files and you can 3D print their stuff. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. So there you go. We got a new Wrecker Hammer coming and it's for MP and Voyager scale. And it uh, looks pretty sweet. I like it. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have for add-on kits. Let's move on to Legends. And it looks like Mechanic Toys or Mechanic Studios or Mech Fans Toys, like I said, whichever you want to call them that week, has shown us some great model, uh, some uh, prototypes of their uh, Sand Leopard. This is their Sandstorm. And, man, this thing looks freaking awesome. I like all three modes, especially that helicopter, man. That is spot on. Looks really nice. Uh, he's going to be about 10 centimeters tall. Uh, he got a G1 replacement face bonus, so I guess you got a new head as well. And it uh, should be launched at the end of the year. So really looking forward to that. They did a really good job with their Astro Train, Octane, and their uh, Blitzwing. And uh, also uh, Springer, too, as well. So I guess all we need is Broadside, and we'll have all the triple changers. So yeah, it looks really good. This is MS-36. This is Sand Leopard. And this is from Mechanic Toys. And this is their uh, Sandstorm. All right, can't wait for this one. And we got some new images from Mech Fans Toys. This is MF-49C Emitter. Uh, this is their Shattered Glass uh, Blaster. And I uh, like the translucent red ram horn. That looks pretty cool. So like I said, uh, Mech Fans Toys usually knock off the uh, you know Magic Square stuff, so it's going to be upscaled. Uh, but it looks pretty good. The colors look okay. So there you go. If you need a Shattered Glass Blaster for your Legend Collection, here you go. Mech Fans Toys has you covered. And this is Emitter. And it should be out uh, probably soon, pretty soon. So there you go. We got pre-orders up at the uh, Charles and Brown. All right, and some exciting news. We got some new stuff from Dr. Wu Minus King. This is their Megatron. Uh, so this is DW-E25. And says so looks like they is you know got the gray model uh, first. Uh, due to printing and gray spraying, the details are a bit blurry, so they may be a little blurry on the pics. Um, it should be uh, coming out the end of this year. It's such a small gun shape and consists of, uh, only of being only six centimeters tall. So man, to put that, you know, a gun and transform into Megatron in that small of a scale, man, that is freaking awesome. Looks pretty good. I'm really excited for it. So yeah, there you go. Dr. Wu, Menace King. We got, uh, yeah, we got Megatron coming at the end of the year and I can't wait. And then we got some new picks from Iron Factory. This is part of the Samurai series. This is IF-EX50. I know I'm going to screw up this name, the Shugan Boomeru. Uh, this is their Grimlock. And yeah, um, 
I hope he's better than the drift. Uh, the drift I looked at, you know, just recently was not that good. Uh, but this one looks really beefy. Um, it looks like, like I said, stuff is going to get in the way, you know, the shoulder pads and stuff. But I'm going to get it. I'm going to give it a try. Uh, it looks, you know, really menacing, to be honest, for a legend scale. Uh, Grimlock looks really, you know, pretty good right here. But we'll see when we get them in hand. I like the swords. I love that. It looks very nice. The translucent orange. But yeah, overall, he looks really good. But we'll see. But there you go. This is Iron Factory, and this is their uh, Grimlock, and hopefully he'll be coming out pretty soon. Man, it looks good. Get in my collection. And we got some new picks, uh, some new box picks, actually. Uh, so this should be coming out pretty soon. This is New Age H43W Samurai Toshiro, and uh, this is their IDW Cyclonus, and he looks really good. I love that dark purple paint job. Looks so good, man. New Age just a they do a great job in their paint. But yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm excited for this. If you like the IDW uh, kind of thing going on, you definitely want to get this one. Cyclonus is a great mold, and uh, this one just looks good. So there you go. We got new images. Uh, should be coming out pretty soon. New Age, this is uh, their Cyclonus from IDW. And it looks like New Age is also releasing their uh, Commander David. This is the uh, 27C. I think this is the comic book version because it is the, you know, the comic book version on the box. So yeah, if you want a you know, comic version to go with the Megatron they just released, here you go. This is uh, New Age, and this is their comic version of uh, Optimus Prime. And we got some new stuff from Jizza Toys, my favorite company that I've never gotten anything from. Uh, this is their Trailbreaker. I think I showed this a couple weeks ago, but we got some new picks. Uh, he's got a big old head. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Like I said, I think they are trying to get their stuff uh, you know, printed out or you know, put out. Uh, they do some 3D printing and stuff, so it looks pretty cool. Like I said, it's a big old head. So there you go. This is Jizza Toys. This is their SD Trollbreaker. <laughs> and we got new images from Jizza Toys. This is their tape cutter or tape dispenser. And yeah, he's a tape dispenser. <laughs> Why would anybody make this? But it looks awesome. I mean, I'll, you know, it's something you have to have. I mean, you don't have to, but it looks pretty cool. But there you go. This is, once again, Jizza Toys tape cutter or tape dispenser. All right, man. Golly. And also from Jizza Toys, looks like we're getting a huffer. Looks like we just have some early, looks like some renders and some drawings and stuff. But it looks pretty cool. I like the alt mode. I like that. For a huffer, that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like a, maybe a video game huffer. You know, something in War for Cybertron or something. But yeah, it looks pretty good. So yeah, they're trying to make a huffer as well. And the last thing from Jizza Toys, we got Prime Master Skullgrin. And I think this one looks pretty sweet. I would definitely love to have something like this. I hope they do all the pretenders. That'd be pretty sweet. I wish they put out something. I don't know if they've even put out anything or anything yet, but we'll see. But yeah, Jizza Toys, this is Prime Master Skullgrin. I think it looks pretty cool. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have for our Legends news. Let's move on to MP third party news. And it looks like TransArts is doing a Beast Wars uh, Transmetal Megatron, uh, not Megatron, a Dinobot. Golly. I uh, love the head sculpt. This is an early render. I think we've seen this before, but I don't know if sure it, it showed up again. Uh, but yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, they do a good job. I like their uh, Transmetal stuff. Uh, definitely will get this one. So there you go. TransArts Toys is giving us a Beast Wars. Uh, this is a Transmetal Dinobot. And it looks like we got a prototype sample from X Transbots. This is their MX22T. This is their uh, toy version of their Ultra Magnus. And you got some comparisons with the uh, toy version. It looks like that's the uh, MP version uh, from uh, uh, Takara and uh, Hasbro. So yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot a little skinnier. It looks, uh, you know, doesn't have the big old butt flap. So definitely uh, excited for it. I don't know if I'm gonna get the toy or the tune version. I don't know yet, but we'll see. So there you go. We got new uh, prototype picks from uh, X Transbots, and this is their uh, toy version of Ultra Magnus. And it looks like the next release from Dreamstar Toys, uh, their you know the Superion and their Aerial Bots, is going to be Skydive, one of the legs. And it looks pretty good. My gosh, he's going to be big. He, uh, they got a picture next to the uh, Kang Toys and their leg mode, and yeah, so this is going to be a good good scale. I uh, love the alt mode. The, I love the bot mode. Looks pretty good. A bunch of details. Uh, the first one was really awesome. Transformation was kind of meh, but overall, I really liked it. So there you go. Dream Toys, uh, Dream Star Toys is releasing Skydive as their next uh, aerial bot. And it looks like we got a new box image from APC Toys. This is their Night Countess, and this is their uh, uh, this is the Prime Arachnid. 
Uh, going to be a triple changer. I love the box art. I love that red moon behind them. Looks really good. Uh, she looks really menacing. So yeah, looks pretty good. I'm definitely in for those. Uh, they're kind of a knockoff, a little upscale, or maybe not upscale, but you know, different uh, weapons and stuff and better paint uh, than the Prime original. Uh, so there you go. APC Toys, Knight Countess, and this is their Arachnid. And the last thing we're going to talk about for MP third party news is going to be MHZ Toys. This is MH02 Acoustic Wave. Uh, don't get it confused with the Fans Toys Acoustic Wave, which is also Soundwave. Um, I don't know, is this a new company? Uh, did they put out something before this? Because this is the 02. Uh, but this is your Soundwave uh, from the uh, you know Bayverse line. Um, he looks like he's going to be a little smaller. It looks exactly like the Mista from uh, New Age. Uh, but less paint uh, that you know the new age one has really great paint on him But this one kind of looks dull a little bit uh, But I think he's actually a little smaller than the new age one too as well uh, but he does come with two um uh, tapes, you know, he comes with the laser beak and uh, Ravage and also stealth mode. So they're actually translucent. So I have to get that, you know, I love some translucent transformers. Uh, but, you know, he looks fine, I guess. You know, the Mista one is just a pain in the butt to transform, but it looks pretty good. Uh, but yeah, this is, like I said, MHZ Toys or Magic, Soy Magic Souls Toys or something. I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're a knockoff or something, but there you go. They're giving us a sound wave. And yeah, pretty cool. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. Let's move on to official. And it looks like Target is giving us some new stuff. So uh, it looks like their summer geek out featuring Transformers, which is coming on June 24th at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, limit two units per uh, customer. So that's good. You don't have to sell out. So it looks like, uh, there's, like they're dropping some amazing all new exclusive collector toys from your new favorite brand and franchises every Friday from now until July 15th. Uh, with a few more surprises along the way. It's a month long celebration of geek culture, collecting, and fandom. So yeah, pretty cool. So we're going to get some exclusive. You know, everybody loves some Target exclusives. Uh, let's split up some Seekers and stuff. Let's do that again. Uh, but yeah, Summer Geek Out with Target. So be on the lookout and uh, get you some exclusives. All right, great stuff. And we got some new in-hand images of Studio Series 86 movie RC. And it looks like it's shown previously by Hasbro designer Evan Brooks. This figure is a retool of the Generation Thrilling 30 RC mold with no Earthrod parts present. Wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, the new images focus on comparison shots next to the uh, Generation RC mold for you to spot the similarities and the differences between each mold. Uh, we also have a backpack comparison group. And I think there's a video where you can take this uh, backpack off as well. Uh, so pretty cool. So they got some, you know comparisons and all that stuff. So there you go, in-hand images of Transformers Studio Series A6 movie RC. And we also got some new in-hand images of Legacy Core Class Shockwave. Uh, figure's supposed to be part of the second wave of Legacy Core Class with uh, the G2 Megatron and Optimus Prime uh, re-release. Uh, found at a specialty store in Time Warp Toys in South St. Louis, Missouri. So it's already been found in stores, so that's pretty cool. Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, I'll probably get it. Looks very nice. Got a nice little satellite dish. Looks pretty cool. So there you go. In-hand images of Legacy Core Class Shockwave. And it looks like the 2007 live-action movie is coming back to theaters for the 15th anniversary. So we got official poster and additional information. Uh, the event is organized by Fathom Events. Uh, looks like, uh, which also brought, you know, back the 1986 movie back in theaters in 2021. And they have updated their website with an image and official poster and confirmation of two screening dates on July 10th and July 14th. Uh, tickets will on sale right now. Uh, so go to the website if you want to go. I, I think I'm going to check it out. I really like the first one, so I'm going to go check it out. So yeah, July 10th and July 14th, they're going to be re-showing the Transformers 2007 live-action movie uh, for the 15th anniversary. My God, it's been 15 years. Jeebus. Is anybody going? And in more in-hand images of Studio Series SS89 Bumblebee movie Thundercracker. So Thundercracker is a redeco of the Studio Series SS72 Bumblebee movie Starscream, but with the head used in the SS76 Bumblebee movie Thrust, plus with some differences. We have a closer look at the robot and alt mode showing off the bright deco used in this mold. A very nice addition to the Bumblebee movie Seeker Squad. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to get this one. I like the, I uh, do love the mold. So definitely going to get this one. So in heat images of Studio Series SS89 Bumblebee, Bumblebee movie Thundercracker. Jeebus, that's a lot of blah, 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 blah. So it looks like we got a new Transformers collaborative Project Yellow and Terran Tacticon. 
uh, potential R-Spark uh, uh, product listing discovered. So coming into us once again, uh, we got a new listing for a future collaboration with uh, a collaborative project called Project Yellow. Uh, what it means, total mystery to us, but that's not all. Also, there's listings of what have uh, been told to have been products to be coming from the Earthspark cartoon, which is the new one uh, coming out at the end of the year, I think. Uh, so yeah, I guess we got some new stuff coming in and then Project Yellow, whatever that is. Like I said, once I get more information, I'll definitely put it out. So there you go. Collaborative, Project Yellow, and Terrain Tacticon. Whatever that is. And some more in hand images of Masterpiece Movie MPM-13 Blackout. Uh, images let us see the great level of finishing and details for the new Masterpiece Movie figure for their line. Uh, the attention to the sculpt will make him the best movie accurate blackout toy and showing a great level of posability. Uh, we also have comparison shots next to the Studio Series Blackout, which, my gosh, that Studio Series Blackout is pretty big, and this one is a lot bigger than that one, so he's going to be huge. Uh, we also see the Scorponok. We also see the you know the solid hel helicopter uh, mode, so it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not in on the line anymore, but uh, this looks pretty good. I don't know. I may have to get this one. This looks pretty, pretty freaking sweet. So there you go. In hand images of Masterpiece Movie MPM-13. This is Blackout. Wow, he is pretty impressive. And then we got our first look at a prototype from Premium Collectible Studios' unreleased Optimus Primal stu uh, statue. Uh, this prototype shows Optimus Primal in dynamic crouching pose, holding his blades with a detailed base which features his robot and gorilla face, and we can spot Cheetor's face and Razor Beast Warthog head as well. It is unclear if the statue will ever be produced or not, but we are sure many Beast Wars fans would be really, really in interested in it. So it looks pretty good. My gosh. Uh, really, it looks expensive. So there you go. Uh, prototype, uh, uh, unreleased uh, from Premium Collectibles. This is Optimus Primal, and it's a statue. Looks pretty good. So if you like Funko Pops, it looks like there's a jumbo size Unicron confirmed as a GameStop shared exclusive in the U.S. So the new jumbo size Funko Pop Unicron, about 10 inches tall, uh, which was recently revealed at the San Diego Comic Con 22 exclusive, uh, which will be sold at the Funkoville during the event from July 21st to 20, uh, July 24th. So you can get it there. But it also looks like it's going to be a GameStop exclusive as well. So you'll have two chances to get it if you if you like that kind of thing. So it looks pretty cool, I guess. You know, I'm not a big, uh, you know, pop collector, but if you are, uh, definitely, definitely want to get this one. So there you go, Funko Pop Jumbo Size Unicron confirmed as a GameStop exclusive, and also will be at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con in 2022. Awesome, awesome. And the final in hand image of Studio Series SS90 Voyager Age of Extension Galvatron. So we have a gallery of new Voyager mold uh, in both modes and several comparison shots next to the original Age of Extinction Galvatron mold and also side by side of other Studio Series figures. Uh, looks pretty, you know, pretty cool. I like the, uh, the original one. It wasn't that bad. Uh, but this one, you know, with the hole in his chest, you know, a lot of people didn't like that, but it's fine. So there you go. in hand images of Studio Series SS90 Voyager Age of Extinction Galvatron is coming soon. And the last thing we'll talk about today is going to be Takara Tomy Transformer Display at the International Tokyo Toy Show. Man, I'm glad we are getting more toy shows now. That's awesome. So they showed off Legacy Metroplex. We got Masterpiece Jetfire. We got the Train Bots. So we got all three of those. We got a bunch of stuff. We got Legacy Motor Master in a robot, alt mode, and combined mode. We got Studio Series. We got Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. Just a bunch of great, freaking awesome stuff. I would love to go to one of these shows over in Tokyo. That thing would be pretty, really sweet. So yeah, very nice to get to see uh, Jetfire. That's pretty cool. So yeah, very nice. So we had a Takara Tomy Transformer display at the International Tokyo Show. I uh, don't know when it was. It didn't say when it was, but oh, I would love to go to one of these, man. Freaking awesome. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And, man, it is jam-packed full of great stuff, man. Dreamstar Toys looks very awesome. We got some great legends, man. Dr. Wu is making that Megatron look really good. Uh, so, yeah, very nice. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. And hit me up some comments. Tell me what you're excited about. And, man, if you're a Transformer fan, you got to be excited about something. Come on, now. All right, I guess I'll see you in the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And, as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers, and good night, folks.